base class libraries is part of the .NET framework. It's part of every .NET framework version. This is where all your common code is, is in the base class libraries, which is the most of .NET. And it's much larger scope than other libraries, you know, other programming languages as in before. They keep adding on, on and on and on and on and on to the base class libraries. And one of the reasons they do that is because of of groups like us, me, make Microsoft uh, MVPs. So this is like a .NET 1 simplified overview of the, <laughs> of the base class libraries. There's no way I can even show you them. But these are the core ones that came out in 1.0. That's why I still use this, because I can't find another one. The system of our web, which includes all the servicing that we do through the web, and also all the web UI, which is uh, not only Silverlight, but uh, web pages and things like that. System.data, which is we do all of our data access, including native drivers for Oracle now that are built into .NET. Uh, XML, of course, I told you XML is freaking everywhere. Not only is it used for everything in .NET, but of course you guys can use it to serialize your data and stuff like that, which I commonly do. It's all done through the uh, system.xml. And the system, which is the root namespace of pretty much everything, is a lot of the, the common things like um, uh, collections, configuration, um, globalization, I.O., uh, network um, reflection, we don't talk much about that, but everything in .NET can be reflected upon, meaning you can find out everything about a type dynamically, all through reflection, which is really, really important in .NET, uh, especially for things like serialization and things like that. Uh, resources, which is all of your bitmaps and strings and things like that. All your security, which is actually part of the runtime. Service processing, so you can attach to services and things like that. And create, you can create Windows. One of the first things I ever wrote in .NET was a Windows service. I have this huge scheduling service at work now I wrote, uh, just doing Windows servicing. Um, imaging, drawing, and then the runtime includes the interop services we talked about, remoting and, and serialization. The last time I could find, oh, there's 4,500 classes. I think there's really more than that. That's a lot. So do you think any one of us knows everything about .NET? 